today is our second day in the Smokies. Um, body is feeling a little weird right now. I don't really know what's going on with it. I feel like just like really blah. It was really, really cold yesterday and it's cold today. Um, we had a fire going in the shelter because there was a there was a little fireplace. Um, and I got some more sunburn yesterday, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a mess right now. Today is the first day on the trail where there's snow flurries. Uh, the ground's pretty frozen. And uh, yeah, the terrain's changing from what we were doing. We were doing like a lot of uphills, regular woods, and now it's looking more like a winter landscape, especially with the snow and stuff. This is pretty cool. The uh, fog or cloud that's rolling through is making it so just one side of the mountain in front of me has frost on it and the other one doesn't. You can just see the fog rolling on through. I made it to the top of the first peak after the shelter. Um, I had to take a lot of breaks. I feel like I'm like, I don't know, I feel like I'm really dehydrated or something from yesterday because it was so cold and when I got to camp I didn't drink enough maybe, I don't know. And I'm trying to drink right now but um, a lot of the water's iced over and it's just, I don't know, <laughs> today's a rough day. But I, yeah, I gotta be really careful with my body. But anyways, the view is awesome. There's one that I'm coming up to right after this. It's like not even half a mile away. That's going to be even taller than this. But yeah, this is a... I, I didn't really understand the Smoky Mountains till now. And now I'm up here and I can see it. It's really foggy and snowy right now. But um, yeah, you can see layers of mountains, which is awesome. Yesterday was a bit of a rough day um, with how my body was feeling. Health-wise, it was my worst day on trail, I would say. Um, I kept getting a little scared on the way up through the snow just because my body was so bad. So seeing that I was scared, I would say it was my worst day on trail. Um, I made like 14 or 15 miles yesterday. I was hoping to go two more miles past that, but I decided to give up because it's just the weather and how my body was feeling. So this morning I hiked the two miles to shelter I was supposed to be at, ate some breakfast, and um, I'm now continuing onwards to Klingman's Dome, which is the highest point on the Appalachian Trail. So that'll be a cool highlight of the day. Uh, yeah, last night was cool. Um, who was there? Timber, Ugg and I were there. We're the only through hikers. Everyone else is a section hiker or just there for spring break, but yeah, everyone was really cool. And I um, heard, heard some interesting stories. Uh, today we're going after Klingman's Dome to go into town. So we're going to Gatlinburg. I haven't had a shower in four days now. One with shampoo in like six days. So yeah, that'll be nice to uh, finally uh, rest up a bit and recover from everything I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, my body's still not feeling 100% at all, so I'm trying to take it easy today. But it's going to be quite the hike up to Klingman's. But yeah, really excited for today. Because a lot of stuff to look forward to today. So far the hike has been one that I really like because it reminds me a lot of the Northeast. I love hiking the Adirondacks and um, I was just going through a lot of pine trees and it smelled like pine. 
had me uh, singing CCR a bit in the woods. <laughs> Whenever I go to the Adirondacks, I sing CCR, so I was doing that here. Um, got a little bit of an outlook point right here, about a mile and a half away from Klingman's. But yeah, you got mountains, lake view. Yeah. This is like the part of the trail where you just don't want to really go. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to try to take it slower. I was sort of rushing a bit in the beginning. Not really, but a little bit just to try to get to a carpool in time to the hostel. But I'm probably just going to up hitchhiking in because this is stuff like, this is what I'm hiking for. These are these are the views I'm hiking for. Like, why would I be skipping this stuff? Sam is going to not rush and take as long as I want on these views. I'm just coming off of Klingman's Dome and uh, <laughs> the trail is uh, full of ice <laughs> in some parts, so uh, it's taking a bit more time to go on this downhill than normal. Today is really just draining me mentally. I really, really want to just be at Newfound Gap so I can go to Gatlinburg and enjoy the city. Um, but yeah, I um, am now listening to music. So this is the first time I'm actually putting in earphones on the trail, so it'll be a totally different experience. Like the other day when I was coming in to Fontana Dam, I was listening to the music out loud. But yeah, this will be my second music experience, first time with headphones. And this is a landmark I've yet to see. It's a wire fence. <laughs> so there's a wire fence that goes all the way down and then the trail has a little thing where you hop up on it and you go around. <laughs> so just came off the trail to Newfound Gap. Gonna be hitching in the Gatlinburg. Ugg, Ugg ended up being right here. So he's with me now. Uh, over there, they're doing some trail magic and I got a whole bag of food, two water bottles, which is nice because all the water was frozen today and some leggings from Boo Boo Row. I uh, was not expecting that, so she just ended up giving me a free pair of leggings, which is awesome. So, huh? So, gonna be hitching in and going to the hostel tonight and looking for that. Have you guys seen much wildlife? Oh yeah, yeah, good amount. I'm at the Lodge of Legends Hostel. It's not really like a hostel at all, it's more like an Airbnb, but um, it opened up a few months ago and I've been hearing about it and I'm really glad I got to at least spend one night here. So as you can see there's like a pool table. Then over here this is where this is where it gets really really crazy. <laughs> they have uh, the fridge is stocked with like all sorts of drinks, Capri Suns, uh, flavored water, sodas, there's eggs, cheese, uh, <laughs> the freezer, all sorts of foods. Pizzas. Uh, every drawer is just jam packed with everything you could possibly need. They even have fuel canisters and Ziploc baggies and stuff. I uh, got a Keurig machine and a coffee. Just more food all over. You got a sink. And then down the hallway, you have a bathroom, well, which has like everything you could possibly need in there too. And we got bedrooms, and then the laundry room. We got the is really not. <laughs> we got the hiker box, which I haven't even opened yet. But yeah, we got all that. We got washer dryer, which you can wash as much stuff as you need. Uh, we got Groot from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, <laughs> and a bunch of games and books and things. And this is the other cool thing. Actually, I want to point this out. I this is what makes it sort of like an Airbnb. Airbnb feels all of this decorative stuff. This is all the national parks. Yeah, I can't say enough good stuff about this. The the people who own the house um, are really, really nice and giving. And yeah, I feel super comfortable here. So excited to spend one night here. And then tomorrow I, I'll be having, they're booked tomorrow. So I'm gonna be having to go into Gatlinburg probably to a hotel. So I'll get the downtown experience tomorrow. <laughs> hey. 
We just left the Lodge of Legends hostel a little bit ago. She shuttled us down uh, to downtown Gatlinburg. So now we have checked in, well, Ugg and I have checked in to the Microtel and we're gonna go and spend the day downtown. Keith and CJ, or I should say Scooch and Paris are at the Outfitters right now. And um, they'll be meeting us down here and we'll check out all the places like the Moonshine Distillery. There's Ripley's, believe it or not, everything. Like Ripley's Aquarium, Ripley's Museum, Ripley's Haunted House even, which I've never seen something like that before. Uh, very touristy, but it's a cool place to stop and get off the trail. A lot of people said not to get off the trail here, but I'm so glad we did. There's a ton of stuff to do. Sugarland weddings. So a lot of people, uh, just like Vegas, they meet and uh, do a little bit of a spontaneous wedding. They're all over the place. There's like chapels and stuff. So chapels are intermixed with all the pancake houses. <laughs> we just stopped by the NOC in Gatlinburg, which is a smaller version of the other NOC. Well, not even smaller, just a little different. Uh, got some resupply stuff, hand warmers, and what was the big thing I got? So yeah, new headlamp because my rechargeable one just stopped working out of nowhere, which is really sad, but gonna try a battery powered one now and I think we're gonna go ahead and get food next. Yeah. Just sampling the town. Yeah, why not? It's like moonshine, it just can't be aged in a barrel over like 90 days, I think is what it's like. It's like, it's mash whiskey, right? That's, that's the under. It's an old school like, almost like penny candy stores and stuff like that. Ugg, CJ, Keith, and I all hung out yesterday, um, went around the town, and I uh, went and did some touristy stuff. Uh, we were going to do it in an escape room, but I think we forgot about it. We never did that. Later on, Bob, who I... Uh, Bob was at the Lodge of Legends yesterday, but they were full, so he came to the Microtel with us. But yeah, later on, Bob um, hung out with us at nighttime. We were all in this part of the suite where um, it's a living room area. We're all here hanging out. Just took an Uber back to Newfound Gap and I'm back on the trail right now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome that I'm excited to get back on trail. I'm glad my my mind's reset because I was worried it wasn't. I was worried I was gonna come back on and be really down yeah. still. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of vertical rock it's not the normal horizontal or usual diagonal it goes straight up and down it uh makes the path pretty spiky in parts when i was uh hitching a ride down in the gatlinburg the other day i finally got a view of the smokies from a, a road point of view and you could tell the smokies like are just all formed like this it's like definitely like the rock got pushed up and <laughs> pretty drastically. This is the second day of listening to music through my earphones. I <laughs> I just passed a couple people. I right now jump by Van Halen is playing and I was like I don't think I was singing out loud but I was like really mouthing it and like moving <laughs> And when I came around the corner, the lady looked a little stunned. <laughs> she, she probably didn't know what the heck I was doing. She sort of like, um, went like, like that. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. I'm loving it right now. Like, I got a late starter, so there's no other through hikers really around me at all. I, don't, I haven't seen a single one. I think I saw some southbounders or maybe section hikers going the other way before. And we got uh, another big ice section. And it's flurring slightly snowing right now yeah this icy part just isn't ending right now <laughs> it's very very slow going through this the snow is officially here and this is uh the view of everything right now <laughs> it's a little bit icy but yeah it's most it's like uh little balls of snow that are falling
it's been really fun hiking through the snow so far, but all the water sources so far are frozen or I just don't see any water there. I see on the gut hooks, the next one's 5.4 miles away. So yeah, this will be an interesting day. <laughs> Snow's coming down a lot more now. It's officially like a snowstorm. The path is uh, really covered now. There's a few parts that are getting pretty slippery. I think I'm also like, sometimes when it's really slippery, I'm actually walking over some ice parts, but the snow is covered, so I have no idea. Today is gonna be one of my favorite hiking days. This would make a nice spot if you uh, needed an emergency shelter. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen anyone on trail since mile two, where I it was just people going up to that knob that I, I went on the blue blaze for. So it was just like tourists going up there. Oop. See, I haven't seen people for 14 miles today. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I uh, guess people are scared by the snow, but yeah, it's been one of my favorite days on trail. It's just the snow's getting really deep now, and I uh, can't really see where ice is, and I keep sliding. But yeah, almost there. Point two miles away. Today's hopefully my last day in the Smokies. Um, Yesterday, the snow every now and then would blow sideways. I got pretty rough. And by the time I was uh, doing that last mile of the camp, my face felt like it was getting like pretty badly whipped by the snow. Uh, today, since it uh, snowed last night for a while while we were in the shelter, we were left with anywhere between like two to four inches of snow, maybe even five inches in some spots. And the first few layers of the icy snow <coughs> on that froze over. So since I'm the second person on the trail, I, there's parts where I really don't see ice and then all of a sudden I just go sliding like a foot or two. Bob is ahead of me. Bob's been drawing things in the snow, which is making me laugh. Like He's also been pointing out like any of the animal tracks. He's been drawing arrows to it. So that's a cool thing when it snows is that you could communicate with each other. Yeah, we had a full shelter yesterday. I saw a bunch of people I hadn't seen in a while. So uh, Doc mentioned like, oh, the, the family's back together. And yeah, it's pretty cool. We, it's like five different groups of people that are all like combined now. I'm trying to follow the footprints of, of Bob, but he's got longer legs. And in a few parts, I feel like he was like jokingly making a stride like really long. So <laughs> I can't, uh, can't catch up with these footprints. I don't see any more Bob's drawings. I'm going to rate his stuff. <laughs> so the one that made me laugh the most was the hopscotch one. There was like a a, a walk a footbridge covered in snow that he'd drawn the hopscotch ah, thing on. And yeah that was that was unexpected. Uh, then the other funny one that was, I would say, most effortful, I have no clue how he did this, he put, put his feet together and made like a huge bunny track. So he like jumped like five or six feet and then jumped five or six feet for a good amount. And with a pack on, I would say that's pretty impressive. <laughs> so there's a lot of funny stuff like that happening right now. Uh, GW, a guy I met yesterday wrote uh alongside a a lookout point so pretty for the mountains and then i just wrote indeed so <laughs> it'll be cool to see um how all that stuff continues throughout the day as people go on i'm curious to see what people say like oh yeah i saw this i saw that i'll draw a few more along the way because it definitely uh brings some of that group camaraderie camaraderie <laughs> uh to the trail today 
I mean, the snow is so nice, but some people don't like it. So it'll help pep them up a little bit to have some messages. I just went down to Low Gap after having a break at the shelter. And uh, well, this is the second Low Gap we've been to. And it was uh, nice and warm down there. All the tourists visiting the Smoky Mountains were wearing t-shirts and shorts. They were coming up behind me. <laughs> They're not making up here because uh, I just went from unzipping my coat and taking my gloves off to putting everything back on. Holy crap, like when the wind comes, <laughs> there's like um, huge chunks of ice that come off of these trees. About to do another blue blaze, the Mount Camira Trail. It goes up to a fire tower. So yeah, 0.6 miles there, 0.6 miles back. We made it to the fire tower. We have an awesome view of everything. Uh, there's no other through hikers here yet, so I'm assuming everyone's pretty much skipping it. It is an extra uh, 1.2 miles, which is nothing, but <laughs> um, yeah, this is a cool fire tower. I've never seen anything like this where uh, it's like wooden steps. You know, the rock scramble, went through some like six inch mud spots and you get a 360 around the whole fire tower. And then here's inside where you can escape the wind. Officially going on the, the descent all the way to town and uh, it's really just all downhill for miles. It's pretty crazy. This might be the most downhill we do consistently so far and then it is off to standing bear hostel and i should add to that uh while we were sitting there uh pears came in peanut came in and then i saw two other through hikers on their way it's just people got up so late they're really far behind And it's finally warm because I'm down enough in elevation. <laughs> Crazy. I don't even know what it is, six miles? Five or six miles or something down now? But yeah, it's nice not to have a super runny nose every 30 seconds. Everyone's had raw noses and sinus issues, ear issues. Yeah, Peanut actually mentioned that he uh, did reply to one of those snow messages where I uh, GW wrote so pretty and I I said indeed he wrote meh so <laughs> it's just funny everyone did end up actually replying. I passed a hiker permit drop-off box which means I think I officially exited the Smoky Mountains a little bit ago so I survived that. Um, I've been smiling since then because I never saw a sign but I'm pretty sure that's what that means. The terrain's back to like what the Appalachian Trail used to be. There's like a huge water source right here, which I'm just gonna skip because I'm trying to get to the um, hostel, but crazy because I have not had a good water source in like five days or something. And it just has made everything so much harder. So uh, yeah, I sort of, it hit me every now and then when we're in the Smokies that that's not how the trail was, but now it's like, it's really hitting me that we're back to a lot more comfort as far as warmth goes and water. And I'm still not even down as far in elevation as I have to be. I'm still going down like another like 500 to 1000 feet. And we're coming down to a unexpected large waterfall. I just hit a road and apparently we do a little bit of a road walk. I heard someone saying that before, but I don't know if that was true. And I feel all out of sorts right now. It's like we just went from freezing cold and, and five up to five inches of snow to super warm and like tons of water. 